So I am in Philadelphia today and I just rescued five baby kittens. I just rescued five kittens who were found outside in the freezing cold. The lows today in Philadelphia were 31 degrees, which is just horrifying to think of these guys outside. These guys were found outside and brought to an animal shelter, and fortunately, um, that animal shelter knew that I was in Philadelphia right now and gave me a call. Unfortunately, they don't know where the mom is. Um, she probably is outside, but she was not found. So I'll be taking care of them for the next several weeks, helping them grow big and strong. So here's their story. I just got a call from the animal shelter. They said, oh my gosh, we just got five seven-day-old kittens in that don't have a mom, but it is the middle of December, it's freezing outside, and I'm in Philly, I don't have any of my supplies with me. Since I'm out of town and I still want to be able to help, um, I'm going to get a little creative and I'm going to make a heating pad out of rice and some very fancy cat socks. So, you know, take any dry rice that you have around the house, you know, don't take something that you've already cooked, tie it off. And I'm going to make two of them since there's so many kittens. There's a lot of like random rice in the cabinet, so this is a good use of it. I'm going to pop these in the microwave for about a minute and a half to two minutes. If you have some cool cat socks laying around, this is a great use of them and it'll keep uh, your kittens nice and warm because, of course, they can't regulate their own body temperature when they're only a week old. Um, so we're going to help them out. We are on our way to the PSPCA. How far are we? We're about a mile away. So this is a little taste of North Philly. North Philly? So I used to live in Philly, and this is where I started doing kitten rescue work. And I used to drive around and just look for kittens, and you'd find them everywhere, because there's so many community cats um, in this area. I think now there's a lot more TNR happening which is awesome, and that is having a big impact on how many kittens there are. It's cool to be able to help more Philly kittens. Well, let me just get this out of my system. <laughs> we're at the Philadelphia SPCA, and we're gonna go inside and save five orphan kittens. This is like perfect timing. They were found stray last night, actually right around the corner. So were they found outside? Yeah, so they said they were found outside, so probably That's mom so was crazy, around it's there. That's so cold. Oh, my God, oh, oh my their God. eyes are opening. So they're like 10 days. It's so cold outside for yeah, a mom with babies this young. Yeah, we're in code blue right now, so they definitely shouldn't be outside. So here's number one. And this is a boy. And you can tell because it looks like, you know, like a raised circle. That's a boy. Hi. So tuxedo number two has a beautiful little mustache, but don't be fooled because it's a girl. If you look and it looks like a line, that's a girl. Tabby number one. Hi. Mm -hmm. I yeah, this one is poking around. Okay, Andrew, what do you think? Boy. Boy, good. Tabby number two. Oh, and this one has just total tabby. The other one had a white belly. And what do you think? It's a girl. It's a girl. This one's got one eye open. The other one is like still working on it. And what do you think? It's a girl. It's a girl. Nice. You're getting good at that. But most of the time when a kitten this young is brought into a shelter without a mom, um, they really only have until close of business uh, to wait for somebody to come in and save them. When people get upset with an animal shelter for euthanizing kittens this young, I say, you know, it's really up to the community to help out. The shelter often has limited hours, limited staff, limited resources, and it's up to volunteers to come in and help them. So these little guys would have only had until eight o'clock uh, to find somewhere to go, and I'm glad that I was able to help them out. We're nowhere near enough people in Philadelphia right now to help with all of the neonatal kittens that we have come into the shelter, so mm -hmm. we are in desperate need of more fosters. Yeah. We'll have days where we have like eight to ten litters this age sent to us and asked if we can help, and we can't do it without foster parents. Ooh. Nice work. Good job, Tiny. Well, that's a relief. That's great. Sometimes it takes them 
a while before they get comfortable on a bottle. What do you think? They're great. They really They're really they great. Right that is awesome. Nice job, little dude. Alrighty. Thank you. Thank you. Later, Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Let's go. Come on. all asleep. So sweet. <laughs>